Hey, let me show you 20 amazing tips and tricks that you can use on the Redmi 13. And first of all, we can speed up our smartphone by going into the settings. Then scroll all the way down, select additional settings. And here we can find the memory extension. So as you can see, you can add here even six additional gigs of the RAM. By selecting this option and clicking reboot, you will actually apply the changes. Next, we can also find here a very famous and popular option, Game Turbo. Yeah, it's actually available right here. So while playing games, you can actually speed up this smartphone thanks to this feature. You have to just open it, then click on the settings icon. And now, just be sure that you turn on this switcher. Also, we can find here some other performance options, like for example, the performance optimization and the performance mode. The Wi-Fi optimization and the touch console controls. So now let's move for another really amazing feature that we can find in the smartphone. And it will be available right here. That's the screen recorder. So as you can see right here in the screen recorder, we can actually find a lot of options. Like for example, we can record screen with the 30 frames per second. We can set really high uh, quality of the videos. The same for the resolution. We can also change the sound source. So we can record microphone, system sounds or both of them. We can even show touch screens or button taps. Next, we have to go into the gesture shortcuts because in this smartphone we can find the double tap fingerprint sensor shortcut. So as you can see, we can, for example, open the flashlight. Now I'm gonna tap on it. There we go. And the flashlight is turned on. To turn it off, I have to tap two times. And we can link here any option that is available just right here. Next, we are also able to launch the camera quickly by double press the power button when the screen is locked. So we can decide if we want to do this with the power button or the volume down button. I'm going to turn it on for the both options. Let's lock the screen. Let's quickly tap on the volume on the power button. And it moves us into the camera. Next, we have to go back from this shortcuts and we have to go into the accessibility, hearing, and now we can find beam for notifications. So as you can see, we can get camera flashlight for incoming notifications. It will flash two times. And we can also get the screen, for example, with the purple color. There we go. That's pretty nice. Right now we are going into the battery because in this smartphone, we can actually turn on the speed, the fast charging. So we have to go into the additional features. And here by clicking, we just simply turn on the fast charging. Also, when we go into the battery protection, we can actually uh, get the battery protection. So we can limit charging up to 80% to maintain the battery health. Next, we have to navigate into the apps. And here we can find, for example, the app lock, which means that we can set password for any application that we have on our smartphone. Let's create this random code. Uh, we can sign in with the Xiaomi account, but we don't need to. We can just skip this, click not now. There we go. And now click to use app lock. And now if I try to open YouTube, I will have to input my password. That's pretty nice. When you go back into this settings one more time, we will be able to find also app cloner. So yeah, we can actually clone any application that we have on the smartphone by using this simple feature. Next, we have to move into the sound and vibration because when we scroll into the sound effects, we can actually find the graphic sound equalizer. Eight default presets and one that we can custom to our own preferences. Now, when we go back from this one, we can also find the display and the brightness where we can find, for example, the sunlight mode that will increase the screen brightness, the maximum brightness peak. And also we can turn on the 90 Hertz refresh rate by going for the custom, clicking here and switching from 60 to 90. So it will actually give us more smoother animation. When we move, when we move into the another option, into the lock screen, we can actually find double tap to wake or turn off the screen when the device is locked. So it looks like this. That's really pretty useful option, especially when your phone is actually lying on the flat surface. 
Next, we have to go into the more connectivity options and we can pay with the smartphone because right here we can find the NFC. Also, we can cast a screen into the, um, into the other TV wireless monitors because we can find here the screen casting function. And now I want to show you a few camera tips because we can also find here amazing features like, for example, the shutter type. So when you click here and select shutter type, you can use, for example, the voice shutter. You can say cheese. Let's try one more time. Cheese. There we go. And the photo will be taken. Also, we can find this function timed burst. So we can just turn it on by clicking here. And now I want to um, get photo every 10 seconds or maybe not every five seconds. It will be quicker. And I would like my phone to take 370 photos. So I have to click on the shutter and now every five seconds my smartphone is going to take the photo until it actually reach 370 photos. So it's pretty useful for some group photos. Next we can also find in the camera the 108 megapixel mode. There's the 108 mega megapixel lens right here which give us really nice um, and sharp photos. Next, we can also go into the settings when we will find another amazing option. It's actually called uh, the shot with the screen off. So when you when we take the photo, I mean, we can actually take the photos or videos when the screen is turned off. So it's actually useful, for example, for the time lapse videos or for the long videos that you are, I mean, putting your phone in the tripod and after three minutes, your screen goes black but it will still recording or taking the photos, like for example, with this timed bars function. So that's all for this video, the best tips and tricks for the Redmi 13. Right now, please subscribe to my channel.